The city is stepping up regulation of short-term vacation rentals. Dozens of people have already received violation notices. Kimberly Speakman joins us now with more on that. Kimberly. Howard, the law went into effect on August 1st and makes it illegal to advertise short-term rentals of less than 30 days. The City Department of Planning and Permitting has already given out 37 notice of violations for short-term rental advertising. Notices of violation have been given out in areas such as Waikiki and Kailua, where Representative Chris Lee says the community has been waiting for regulation like this for a long time. We have had people um, who've complained for years about neighboring houses that have had parties and cars blocking driveways as vacationers come in and out. Um, start to see some relief. So I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. And within a month, he says he's already seen some changes. We've already heard um, from a number of residents that there are already homes that are converting from vacation rentals back into long-term rentals or people have already moved in. The DPP has also already seen an impact. The department says it's seen short-term rental ads online drop from about 5,000 to nearly 3,400. 12 notice of violations have also been given out for illegally using a home for short-term rental purposes. And that's something that, um, you know, clearly impacts the availability of housing, not just in Kailua, but around the whole island. Fines for violating the law start with an initial $1,000. If an advertisement still isn't removed, then there are daily fines up to $10,000. Representative Lee says new bills could be introduced in the legislature to further expand on county laws for short-term rentals. The state, I imagine, would come back to take a look at how do you make sure those people are paying taxes, are abiding by the law and operating legally uh, to make sure that they're contributing to the community in the same way. So far, out of the 37 notices of violation, seven have been corrected. I'm told no fines have been issued out yet, but the DPP is preparing to send them out to at least one operator. Back to you.